Um, it's a bit tight on there though, some of them. I mean, they've got like yeah. a big area there. I'm not, I can't work out if it's a travelling one where they're just parked up for a couple of days. Yeah, it was, it was uh, unexpected. Hi. Found some a bit spicy for you. Yeah, so everywhere you go and every little street you go down, every building is different. That one there, I don't know what that is. Hello, and did we tell you we was going to Enfleur? Well, we are here at Enfleur. So we found a lovely uh, air here. It's on the marina. It's right in the centre near enough. Easy walking distance over to the shops and bars and restaurants and stuff like that. 240 vans. And I think there is electric point for every van. Um, I have heard on reviews that um, maybe there's not enough electric points to go around, but we've, we've managed to get electric, so we, we're plugged in. It's only a 5 amp um electric box though so you are limited on the electric but yeah it's great here and then we're leaving tomorrow yeah um about 6 30 to head towards the tunnel um, yes yeah and then that's us back in the uk homeland there you go as quick as that blink of an eye it's it come so soon, quick it will soon be over coats again it's uh bit of a change <laughs> from the little t-shirts and stuff and you're in the same sort of clothes that you were wearing in Spain aren't you? Yeah. Um, but I'm not. I've I'm going to wear a coat though, maybe. Let's see what's right. Um, let's see, it's not too bad now the rain stopped, I suppose. The sun's out over there. So that's your electric point, your five amp electric point there. This is us. That's a view from the motorhome. And it's got marked off with these wooden parts. So it's quite a um, big spot. You've got your else and your water points over there. And it's got, like I say, it goes right back there. And then there's some more over there, and there's some more on the way down, which I'll show you. Right, let's see if we can find somewhere that's open. To eat. Yeah, everything shuts different times, isn't it, in Europe? So everything shuts at two, but it's gone one. Uh, I think I found one that may be open. And then this is where you pay, and it's got your... Prices Price on the side, isn't it? Yeah. 24 hours, two days or three days. There's a payment system. These are barriers that let you in and out. So you can, um, there's like a parking area up there, but I don't think it's overnight parking. Yeah, it looks like coaches mainly. Yeah, maybe coaches. You've got your bins here. And literally it's just a walk down this this road here over the bridge and you're basically within you know i suppose the town i'd say yeah and then there's some more parking overnight parking there which you get in the same way you just go to the left and not the right um it's a bit tight on there though some of them i mean they've got like yeah. a big area there which is quite open but as you come down here if you've got a larger motorhome um, and you are manoeuvring out of the, the spaces um, it can be a bit tight with the ones opposite as you might be able to see what I mean yeah so it's not a bad stopover is it for the last no. two nights of our Europe trip and like I say it's only 14 euros with electric yeah. so and you are right in the centre you'll find that you're paying if you're at places where you are, are actually in the centre of something um, good. Um, so 14 euros, what's that, about 12 quid I would say. Yeah. So you've got all the parking where we are over there. And you've got Lee over there. He's hungry, he just wants me to hurry up so he can go for food, don't you? Yeah. You can actually... see this big barge thing over yeah, here. Yeah, but we can actually smell the food at the moment. That's yeah. the thing. The yeah, we'll come and show you this big badge boat that we've seen. I'm not, I can't work out if it's a travelling one where they're just parked up for a couple of days and uh, oh, yeah, not, not call sure. it parked up, do you? What do you call it? 
moored up. Moored up. Yeah. For a couple of days, or whether it's um, a hotel. We've seen people going on and off it um, in groups, so I'm not quite sure. So that's it there. And they do go out over there, but there is a bridge um, that they would have to raise. on over there. They like their markets. A bit of a water fountain feature in the middle of the road. I'm sure what this is we found. Let's see if we can read what it says on the actual carving. The French souvenir to soldiers and sailors of the canton that died for their homeland. Ah. There you go. And you've got this lovely, this is the cathedral thing I was talking about, Lee. Oh, look, yeah, you've got all, like, the names. It's like a memorial. Oh, OK, yeah. Yeah. Memorial. And then you've got... It's coming away from the town a little bit, or city, whatever it is. Which we'll show you when we've had something to eat. Mm. Just wanted to see this. I've heard the bells going off a few times today. Yeah. So I take it it's coming from here. It's quite intricate, so I don't think you can pick that up. All the carving into the stone. We'll come across and try and show you a little bit better. That's what it's like all the way. Lovely place that was. Yeah, it was. It it's, was uh, it's unexpected. Hard. Yeah, it's just hard to film because we don't know if it's a service about to start or not. Um, there was people um, paying their respects and praying and things like that. Yeah. Finding a lot of the buildings are like this. It's quite nice, isn't it? And then you've got the quirky yeah, streets. So, so different. Every building's different. Yeah. It's all like really quirky and it's not pretty, really, isn't it? Mm. And these are some, look at these two here. That red one and that. It just looks like they've, they've placed different periods of buildings within each other. Yeah. And then you've got this one. With the uh, pictures in the window. That was the local murderers. You car for my daughter. This looks like we just caught the back end of the market. Yeah, market's all closing down. It's all closing now. Everything's starting to shut up until later. That's quite nice, isn't it? We're still looking for a, a restaurant that's not about to shut, that hasn't got you crammed in like a sardine. And it hasn't got seafood.
okay the memory with the ships and crews of the port of Honfleur he explored Canada from 1803 to sorry 1603 to 1607 Found some a bit spicy for you. Oh. Nice clock tower, very old. Quite old quirky building next to it. It's like a little square area, isn't it? That's the end of the church. Yeah. There's a lot more to see than I thought around here. By the way, their shops are still, the majority of them are still set out. Quite um, an old fashioned way of doing things in the UK, is there? Well, that's obviously all your, your medicines and potions, like your vodka and rum and whiskey and stuff. A like crystal kind of shop, jewellery and that's stuff. Nice Very medieval. That's what it's like, isn't it? It's like a little medieval town. You were saying yesterday, weren't we, that it looked very nice up here at Christmas? Looks very nice up there, doesn't it? Yeah. And it will look nice at Christmas, I reckon. I reckon, yeah. Well, the lights on and a bit, a bit of fairy tale kind of. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so everywhere you go and every little street you go down, every building is different. Bit of artwork there, but my artwork is these buildings. I mean, don't matter where you look. I mean, just looking on from this side here and how that's bending out. Um, but yeah, every building's different. Every street's different. It's cobbled different. Um, lovely. And there seems to be a market around every corner. So if you're into your markets, Honfleur is probably a place to come. Just get, it, get here early. Place. Yeah, <laughs> get, get here early and that'd be cool. But look at them. Just these little quirky streets. It seems like loads of restaurants yeah. up there. Yeah, loads. pretty full again. Yeah, it is a Saturday as well, we were yeah. just saying. Yeah. So, this could be just a Saturday thing. I did get my fridge magnet from one of these shops. Yeah. Plenty, plenty of souvenir shops. That's quite pretty. Lovely. Looks like you can got boat trips as well. I believe that's visit uh, Pont. Pont, Pont de Normandy. Pont de Normandy. Maybe the point in de Normandy. <laughs> de Normandy. <laughs> so, yeah, not much around this side at all, really. Just more quirky buildings. Not as quirky as in the centre. So, yeah, it's, it's like a, a main road out, really. Just noticed there's a cruise ship over there. You can see how busy it gets down here. Everyone eating, drinking. That's pretty much most of the shops. There's some clothes shops here. If you like white, it's a white clothes shop. <laughs> Lots of restaurants down here. <laughs> yeah. Pretty crammed. I just don't know what that is we're following, do you? I think it's like a. Uh, well, not a, but their version of it, and it's uh, a mascot. Big helmet. <laughs> what that is. 
That one there, I don't know what that is. That's what happens if you eat too many ice cream. That's all your restaurants along there. And then you've got some nice quirky buildings along the arena area. So we've just been in that shop just to get some final bits because we're not, we can't pack up too much because we can't take much over with us. So we've just got to be careful when we're going back to the UK. Yeah. So yeah. just a couple of bits, just something to nibble on tonight and some breakfast for tomorrow. But it's very expensive, isn't it, in France, the prices of the... We hardly got anything, and that's another 20 quid. I mean, yeah, it's probably one of the most expensive places around now. I mean, it's um, cheaper with, like, the airs and stuff, and if you stay off the tolls and that, it's good, but the shopping is expensive. Yeah. Um, but we've just met um, an English couple in there, didn't we? We did, yes. So, yeah. who... Um, We've given our YouTube channel to, so if you find us, Pam and Bernard, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, and actually, Bernard lived near where we, we used did. to live. We did. did do yes. years ago. Years yeah. ago, yes. Um, so, we, uh, nice to meet you too, um, and hope you have a really good time in, on, the, uh, on your ship that you're on. Um, and they actually went on the ship that we showed you earlier, didn't they? they? Yes, that's it. And they used to have a motorhome as well. They still have one, I don't I know. Think, I'm not sure. I'm but sure. they used to have a motorhome and they've been all over the world in it. So that's amazing. It's groovy. We thought the music was coming from that um, ride over there. That like music blowing up for all these speakers. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. I'm going to go and have a look in a minute. Fishing. It's, um, they, they celebrate catching the fish. Whenever I'm with you, I am alright. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. I'm counting down the days till we fly away. Heading to the sun, only you and me. I don't wanna waste another day being stuck here in this place. Some nice pies. Bad for our last night in Europe <laughs> before we head back in the morning. We just don't know what's going on, do we? We're just gonna keep it in these party towns. It's a little bit quieter down here this time of night. I think they're, they're open again at seven. We've got the watch work. It's 25 minutes till the right time, so everyone's starting to come back out to play again. They've got the rugby on in this one. Nice little cafe bar. And you've got your souvenir shops. They're all set out nice, it's a bit close together, that's all. This one, um, we're getting the pill in the morning, heading for Calais. Yeah, uh, so we're up around half six this time, so half five your time, um, unless you're in Europe. <laughs> so we're gonna um, catch up with you again when we're back in the UK. We are, yes. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, On Fleur. So this is the uh, a lovely town or city. Um, still ain't found that one out yet. But um, once again, thanks to everyone that's been supporting the channel. Thanks to everyone that supported the Europe trip and um, everyone that subscribed. Um, so we will see you on the next one. And thank you for following us on our Europe travels. See ya. Bye. Au revoir.